Hello, truckers and adventurers. Welcome back to SnowRunner over here at the Overlook Motel on Yellow Rock, the main region, and we jumped into this beauty. Um, it is time to do the illegal entertainment, and we just got to go explore places. I thought about bringing over a scout vehicle like it says I should be using, but uh, I decided, nope, uh, not going to do that. I don't know if I need it or not, uh, but what I want to do now is I want to refuel some of my equipment. We're going to steal fuel from there. And let's go over to a truck. Another truck and we'll steal fuel from someone else. Just to make sure we got plenty. Which we probably do have. Uh, yep. Fuel up the, the Tega. There we go. Alright, so. We need to come down here and we need to come over to rest area A. So the job says, uh, let's see, someone is illegally lighting fireworks and making bonfires to the east of here. They're carrying around a barrel of fuel for their fires and car. Find it at one of the points and take it to the impound lot. So basically, I think I'm going to I'm going to go to the rest area A, B, C, and then D. And probably the last place I go to, we're going to find the, the trailer that we need to, to deliver. And I do believe it's going to be up here. Um... And that's what we'll get for the reward. So, we're just going to come on down here, cut across, and then uh, and then go is what we're going to be doing. And I'm just going to mark it like this so I can just kind of see how much farther we got to go. All right. Uh, let's see here. Let's uh, get out of this motel area. So this might be the last task in the main region. At least as far as I know that it is. See how far we get today in getting this task done. Once again, it's one of those like, well, it looks easy. And they do say use a scout. So I, I hope I don't you know, really need a scout vehicle. The TIG can be a good scout truck. <laughs> I think. An all-wheel drive and diff lock is always on, so that's going to make it a little bit easier. Let me just come over here and we'll grab that checkpoint. There we go. The only thing I don't need to be doing is rolling over. Probably should put this in high gear. Is that going to be better for us? Didn't take my little shortcut this time, but... Alright, down we go. Yeah, I am thinking uh, about maybe it's time to leave the region, just to change up the scenery. And I gotta figure out where I want to go next. Some people want me to go where I can get the Kenworth truck with a 71 inch clearance. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I gotta do some looking into of where to go from here. The only thing we haven't completed is all the work for Dusty Woodworks. We did everything for Evans Garage. We did everything for Yellow Rock Forestry, I think it's called. Got to be a little careful with this truck. I'm getting, getting kind of excited just getting this task done. And, uh, you know, going fast is not the best thing to be doing in SnowRunner all the time. Yeah, I thought about bringing the Tuz over here to do this job. The Marshall is over here somewhere. <laughs> I probably should look for it, but I don't think that has enough fuel. And the Marshall is good when I first get on a map because it's it's compact. It's a scout vehicle. Uh, it gets pretty far on the fuel that it has. But also, that can be like a very bouncy type of vehicle as well, so you got to be careful with it. Uh, 
All right, so here's spot A that we got to go to. All right, so stage complete. So now where am I going? Oh, we're not going far at all. All right, I mean, I, can, I know I can see it on the map, but depending on how far away you are, it's hard to tell. Yeah, and the one thing with the Tuz is if I need to cross water, the engine intake is kind of low, and I don't want to drown out the engine. So we're not... All right, I'm just... I'm just going to drive towards it until I figure out that maybe I shouldn't be going the direction I'm going in. Oh, I probably should have been looking for a trailer because I hope it don't go like to point A, B, C, then D. And then like, hey, did you see that trailer the back at point A? Crap, I wasn't looking for it. Well, that's where it was. Um, I didn't see anything right offhand. Going right back to the direction we came from here. Maybe I should uh, just check to see where... Oh, okay. I should probably go down this road right here. Again, when I say road and snow runner, that means there's a path that maybe I should take. So here is where we got to be. And I don't see anything here. Those bags of trash that they just got parked. Or not pile, parked, but piled here. And now I'm going over... I know where that is. And now I'm starting to think... I remember early on, I found a fuel trailer there. And I took that fuel trailer. And I don't know what I did with it. What did I do with that that fuel tanker? Well, that's going to be kind of interesting if that's the, the trailer that I need. I probably just go out of here the way I came in. Let's not take any shortcuts going through the woods today. This may be a shorter episode than what you normally get for SnowRunner. Because if I do decide to go to a different region, completely different map and everything, I would need to recover a lot of these vehicles, store them, retain them, so when we go wherever we go, we have a full fleet. As for the trailers that I have about, I may grab a few of them, bring them back and sell them. Up and over the horizon. Yeah, I am trying to... I hope it doesn't matter that I moved that fuel tanker. And did I use all the fuel that was in it? I don't think I brought it back and sold it or anything like that. I would hope the game would not allow me to sell the trailer if it's for a quest. Or maybe when I took the job, they had one appear there. Yeah, that's where I got that fuel tanker from many episodes ago. I wonder if I brought it up to...
the concrete production. Uh, I don't see a trailer here if that's the one stage complete. All right, so they're telling me to drop off the trailer there. And that's where I brought it. Ooh, I do got vehicles up there. So let me go ahead, instead of driving this up there. What do I have up here? The Pacific. Okay, but that's the maintenance trailer. Uh, hmm. Well, I guess I can wench up to the vehicle. I don't have any other vehicles over here, do I? No, nope, we got the generator. And that is it. Well, I mean, if I am going to leave the region, there ain't no meaning to have this here, right? Oh, wait, where's the front end? Okay. Spin this around like this. Attach that to that. Now, the only thing is, we got to cross two uh, icy parts of the road where I'm going to fall on through. And the Pacific is not... Well, it has diff lock. But I'm not going to have all-wheel drive, so I don't think the front axle is going to be... A driving axle. Well, even if I bring the fuel tanker somewhat down, I gotta bring the Tega up to help out. Maybe I could just do it that way. We will get it there. As long as the tanker behind me doesn't go flying somewhere. Still got the wench, still got the trailer. Alright, now we're coming up to the first icy area. I wonder how this is going to go across here. I don't remember how I brought this up, to be honest with you. Okay, I'm trying to remember when I cross here, where do I want to cross? Because I'm going to sink into this ice like you wouldn't believe. Uh, let me put it in low plus. We'll throw diff lock on. Yeah, the front axle, the front wheels, you can see they're not doing anything. It's all being driven by the rear ones. And let's wiggle the front wheels a little bit. I mean, we are inching forward. And I do mean inching forward. Not really at a good pace, that's for darn sure. Alright, let's turn that engine off. And, um, yeah, we'll come on down here. It's not going to take me long to get the Tega up to there and help us on out. Or maybe I'll just grab the fuel tanker with this. And leave the Pacific right where it is. all-wheel drive and diff lock on this truck 
and the tires I do believe may help us out a little bit more going over the ice because um, they're more of like a balloon shape if you will maybe it'll float on top of the ice a little bit better And with nothing on the truck, it should be rather, well, feel kind of light. It's going to be heavier than a scout vehicle. All right, so I actually only have to go through one block of ice. Tell you what we're going to do, though. We're going to go ahead because the sun's setting. Not 6 a.m. We're going to go right to midday. Now, what I want to do... I don't think I can reach that scout tanker from here. Oh, maybe, is that the tanker or is that the truck? I think that's the truck. Don't get stuck on anything. Uh oh, now it's now it's kind of stuck. Alright, we go in reverse. Go right my own tire tracks. Because the ice is already broken. We are pretty much home free at this point. Uh, let me just bring it to right over here. Hopefully that won't start rolling downhill. And it used the middle of the truck to wench to that, which I don't want to do. Alright. This should be easy peasy, nice and easy. Moving forward. Literally moving forward. Probably could just use automatic getting all the way up to where we need to go. As one would with, uh, when you just got a loose tow strap to a fuel tank or behind you. You don't mind that it's flopping around and may run into the back of the truck. Puncture a hole in the tank and uh, may erupt in, in a great ball of fire. as I slide right into the barrier for oh no <laughs> he said easy peasy nice and easy and what does he do he drives it right into the bridge then I almost drive off a cliff
So unless another task appears after I finish this, the only thing we got left are the jobs for Dusty's woodwork. Up and around the corner here. So who says you need a scout vehicle to do this? Well, I don't know. Am I done with the job, though? Is there something else going to pop up? Uh, no, nothing else does pop up for the job. 600 XP and $6,800 cash, which is always uh, nice to have coming on in. Uh, let me turn off that engine there. And let me just have another quick look around the map. I mean, I did look around the map before I started recording. What, uh, oh, that's where my marshal is. Up here in the swamp. Okay. I don't know how much fuel was in there, but I could have just came right on down and done the whole thing as well. Yeah, they got the caterpillars over there. I left a whole bunch of trailers for this warehouse down here, and we opened up this gateway and never really uh, utilized it at all. There's a Varongrad over there. Yeah, I'm not seeing no other jobs currently for us on this map here. Let me just skip over to the lowlands. And here as well, I'm not seeing no jobs uh, showing up. And like I said, the only thing we got left to do is Dusty Woodwork. We completed Evans and Yellow Rock Forestry. And it is four more jobs, but there's a lot of delivering to do. And it's going to be a lot of going back over pretty much a lot of the training we'll be doing for... I don't know how many episodes we've been here in Maine, um, but it's quite a few. And I, yeah, I'm just thinking it's time for a change of scenery. So, I mean, I got vehicles everywhere with trailers. Um... Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of work to move everything around and retain stuff and get to uh, whatever region we go to next. So, uh, yeah, I thought this job was gonna take a little bit longer today, but a very short episode for SnowRunner. Um, but as I've been mentioning in some of my other episodes, I do have an announcement coming out, or maybe it might be out already. I don't know, and uh, yeah, that could mean something for us here in SnowRunner. In the near future but but all the tasks from what I'm aware are done here in Maine so yeah I think we'll we'll move on to a different region as to what one yet I'll have a scroll through and see uh, maybe we'll go get that Kenny truck with a 71 inch clearance or maybe uh, we'll get the new region that just came out a few weeks ago but uh, you have to do a little bit of looking into that but yeah if made this far in the video which wasn't too long I know uh, but you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that like button. Helps out the channel and the video more than you know. And while you're down there, might want to hit that subscribe and notification bell as well. But that's going to wrap it up for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you again right here in SnowRunner. But until then, have a good one.